We are so lucky here in South Australia. Our coastal waters and deep seas are filled with an amazing variety of sea life. But some of the most spectacular marine creatures to grace our oceans every year are whales. Southern right whales were hunted almost to extinction in the 1800s, but now their numbers are slowly starting to increase. Hundreds of southern right whales visit the South Australian coastline during their annual migration. Watching them from the shore has become a favourite pastime during the winter months. The whales migrate here to mate and nurse their young. Surprisingly, they eat hardly anything during their stay. Their preferred meal is plankton, found in rich sub-Antarctic waters. Calves are often seen frolicking with their mums and they grow quickly, gaining about 90 kilograms a day. Occasionally, we get humpback whales dropping in on us too. They're sometimes seen taking in the sights of the outback, cruising up Spencer Gulf to soak up the rays around Port Augusta. And of course, a favourite nursery and playground is the Great Australian Bight, where thousands of people flock every year to see their stunning acrobatic displays. And another favourite spot for the whales is right here off the coast of Victor Harbour. Whale watching at Victor has attracted visitors from all over the world who revel in the sight of these majestic mammals at play. Look at that, she's giving us a wave. the whale's journey to our oceans is often perilous. Entanglements in discarded fishing gear has caused the death of numerous marine animals in South Australia and right around the world. Thoughtlessly discarded hooks, fishing line and sinkers are easily caught in the whale's and dolphin's dorsal and pectoral fins. Sometimes they become entangled in professional fishing gear and even shark nets. There's also the threat of whaling, an issue which conservation groups such as Greenpeace and the Whale and Dolphin Conservation Society actively fight. While the Japanese government has agreed to do a backflip and not hunt humpback whales, hundreds of other whales are still being targeted under the guise of research. Earlier this year, Australian celebrities took up the fight in Japan to stop the slaughter of hundreds of dolphins and whales staging an emotional protest. And of course, we continue to fish our oceans at a frightening rate. So food is becoming more scarce, while pollution is also taking its toll. And who knows what impact climate change will have. Of course, there are many instances where whales beach themselves for no apparent reason. Mass strandings are not uncommon, where scores of mammals are washed up on the beach. Recently, this pygmy killer whale became stranded on South Australia's west coast near Sejuna. Rescue crews used a special sling to put it back into the ocean. Unfortunately, the whale was too weak to survive. No one is sure why whales beach themselves. Some believe they get lost and disorientated, while others say sonar from military vessels like submarines interfere with their own navigation abilities. There's also a school of thought which believes parasites infect their ears and disrupt their sense of direction. But for the whales that do visit here, South Australian waters are truly a wonderful playground. Of course, it's not just whales that reside in our coastal waters. Dolphins are also a common sight. We have two main types of dolphins here, the common dolphin and the bottlenose dolphin, which are often seen playing around boats along the metropolitan coastline. The Port River alone is home to dozens of bottlenose dolphins, Dr Mike Bosley from the Whale and Dolphin Conservation Society has been studying them for more than a decade. 
He identifies each of the dolphins by the nicks and chunks out of their dorsal fins. He's been studying them for so long he knows most of the resident pod and considers them friends. The best we can do for our flippered friends is to take care of their home, the sea. The future of whale watching relies on ensuring we don't overfish our oceans, we don't pollute them, and we continue to fight against the hunting of whales and their cousins, dolphins. A sea without these wonderful creatures would be an empty place, so enjoy your whale watching experience here at Victor Harbour and remember their future lies with you.